welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to talk about something called mulch as you can see we have given you a little bit of a preview now within the context of farming and as we are talking about as usual building your dream house and creating your dream environment along with that dream house uh, you are going to or you should encounter the concept of mulching and if you don't what you are going to hear instead is let's go buy some fertilizer and mulching is what has been used for eons to provide fertilizer it is a more it is a far more um, let's shall we say environmentally friendly way of fertilizing your crops and uh, it is also cheap look around you if you see in the background there that is all hills and that is all trees that is all organic matter and when you cut that down it grows back in a matter of weeks and that is what we use to provide what is called mulch now as you saw in the little uh, preview that I showed you there, there the difference between the section that is of dirt that is covered let me just turn you around for a bit here the section of, of ground that is uncovered as opposed to the section of ground that is covered now this is mulch this provides cover for the ground and even in this context you can see right here this is completely dried out and this is the normal way of farming in jamaica and uh, well these days it is it wasn't back then and uh, people like to see the ground all nice and clear like this and it is the reason they do this is to get rid of this these grass that you can see all in the background here because this type of grass it is impossible to plant anything in this grass because the grass hogs all the nutrients from the soil so they clear the ground to this and uh, uh, the problem with that is let me show you dry now just a few three two feet from here here is what i have around my avocado tree and this was watered yesterday morning and we have the mulch around it here and just simply by putting this dried grass slash mulch around it this is what you get complete retention of moisture within the soil it is as simple as that so many people will consider that to be old time farming and yes it is but one of my favorite phrases from my grandfather's days do not throw out the baby with the bath water and if you don't understand what that means I uh, um, you probably should just change the channel so yeah so today um, we did cut down we did top this apple tree and this is the result of topping the apple tree there's a lot of mulch and today I am going to cut that mulch cut it up into smaller pieces remove the larger pieces of wood such as all that even these pieces are too big all that and then I am going to spread most of that over onto this section here that is exposed and to so when we get another rainfall then we will we'll be able to retain the moisture within the soil and of course 
when these vegetation decompose they provide they will return the nutrients to the soil particularly nitrogen of course uh, there is a concept of ozone also but i i am not so sure about that but yes i know that there will be many many uh, nutrients that will be returned to the soil so again guys let's just get to chopping
Okay guys, so now that we have done a bit of cleaning up and a bit of mulching, let me show you what the concept is. Basically, this is fertilizer. Anything that is organic matter, any sort of leaf, anything of that nature is fertilizer. And of course, the upside of having this mulch on what you see here is where a fruit tree is going to be. And the upside of having this here, as I said before, is that this mulch, this leaf, this organic matter will cover the bare patches like those and it will retain moisture. So if you do get rain or you do happen to water your plants, you, the ground will retain more moisture there by keeping your plants alive, preventing them from dying. So this is what we have done with the um, topping of this apple tree so let's give you an idea so here is one section here now uh, i do not have enough mulch at the moment to cover the entire all the areas that have been weeded but um this is what we have done so here you are this is large enough area so you water this this will be fine we set some more over <coughs> excuse me we set some more over here again this is where another plant is going to be there is where another plant is going to be and as you can see it doesn't have to be very big and of course the up the other upside of this is that having the mulch over the land it keeps the grass down it keeps weeding to a minimum and it keeps maintenance to a minimum while the plant is small growing and susceptible to other types of uh, plants that are around it that may want to steal its uh, nutrient and prevent it from growing or this kind of weed here this sort of thing that would throttle the plant that would grow up around it, wind around it, and kill them. So that's the whole point of having this mulch right here. As you can see, this place has been cut down a little bit, and it is, you know, more or less clear. So that's something that we don't really have to worry about too much at the moment. But our main concern was this area here that had been weeded. Now, this grass that we have right here, that you see is dry, it is this pest, this uh, invasive species. Now, what can be done is that you can weed this grass move it turn it up so that the roots are up, uh, exposed to the sun and when this grass is dry it is totally dead it is not going to come back it will not take root again and then it can be used as you can see as mulch that has been here but it is a long hard process this grass is very difficult to weed the roots are very very deep in the ground and i guess whoever designed the grass because it was a it is a genetically modified organism um, whoever designed that i guess felt it was necessary for water retention the only problem is that in our soil it is a pest it's an invasive species now back to this here now that i was talking about see this is not a very large amount of mulch that is around this area here one fruit tree is going to be planted right here and uh, we have just put a uh, i would say about three feet of mulch around it and that will be enough for the time being while we uh weed all this up here and uh, get some more of those mulch that has been cut down and spread over this land right here so that is where we are folks now let me show you what i'm talking about with using the grass that we have weeded to use as mulch now originally you may have seen in the other video where i cleared this area here of all this sort of invasive species grass and made it and essentially denuded it to the point of that one over there and the idea is to make sure that you get rid of all the grass and then having killed the grass make sure it's dry as you can see we have a lot of it over here we have a lot of it over here then i then return it to this area here this grass is dry it will now provide a certain amount of um uh, fertilization to the soil and it will also prevent the uh, loss of moisture As you can see here we are going to have another fruit tree so again folks this is what the uh, I guess the younger folk like to call um, old time uh, farming old time gardening and well if it ain't broke don't fix it so again guys Thanks for watching and uh, as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos and you all have a great day.